G'day guys and welcome to our first quick starter video. So we have called it that because it's going to be a short, sharp video is going to highlight some uh, cool Australian uh, Kickstarters that, that are up at the moment, uh, but we're going to keep it under 10 minutes. So um, make sure you uh, check us out, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Our normal show goes live on a Sunday night at 10 p.m. And as always, my co-host, um, Stephen, how are you today, mate? I'm good, good. Oh, look, uh, school holidays is almost finished up in, in Australia. So, uh, you know, I think things are going to come back to normal soon. It, it looks like um, the world's changing back to the way it used to be, which I'm really, really excited about. And I'm actually really excited. I want to get to a convention. Oh, so do I. I'm actually really excited about this video because um, we're going to be focusing on three Australian projects which are ending soon. So we actually basically let Kickstarter pick it for us. So we picked, you know, the comics by Australia by end date soon. And we're really going to focus on videos because uh, a video is a key selling point in each of uh, everybody's Kickstarters. And we want to make it sure that when we look at these three videos, uh, we want to give a little bit of commentary on them to say, hey, guys, um, if you're thinking of making a campaign, here are some tips and tricks that you could get from these videos and some constructive things we're going to mention as well. Um, so before we start, anything else you want to say, Sean? Or no, nope, let's get uh, let's get straight into it, mate. Fantastic! I'm really excited about this one. So these are the three projects, and just to let you show, so they are from Australia because we're a little bit biased for Australian projects. Yeah, everybody knows that. And what we're going to do is we're going to play all three videos, and then um, we're going to have some comments. So we're going to start by this one by Nate Carmichael. So I'm going to pop it. And let's get going. Hello, I'm Nat Carmichael, and I'm passionate about comics, Australian comics. In conjunction with the National Cartoon Gallery in Coffs Harbour, New South Wales, I'm planning on assisting in the production of a book of cartoons. The originals of these cartoons have been kindly donated to the gallery by Michael Mercier and feature many of his dad's cartoons. Emile Mercier was a well-loved cartoonist who depicted a long-gone way of life in post World War II Sydney, Australia. These cartoons are whimsical, funny and wonderfully delineated. They have been especially chosen for this volume by some modern day cartoonists and other special Australians. My hope is that you will consider pledging to this Kickstarter campaign to ensure that this first book of these cartoons by this fabulous cartoonist Emile Mercier live on and that more people come to appreciate his unique humour. Thanks for listening. I hope you support this campaign. I love that, mate. That's that's truly oh. Australian. That uh, <laughs> that Kickstarter video, uh, everything down from the accent to the hat to yeah. to everything. If you if you're trying to play into um, that Australian audience, I, I really kind of in, enjoyed uh, enjoyed that. So, and look, I have to say something, and this is something that I've tried myself. So, and I know how tough it is narrating to time is very difficult actually narrating properly to a script to the beats it's not easy like i remember i was trying to record that's how can we outsource it <laughs> <laughs> oh look I, I, look that's why i tried to narrate once it was horrible it's actually really really difficult so i think uh now that did a fantastic job um well, I will, I, I, I will give you a, a little bit of a, um, a tip there. If you are trying to um, do that and you have trouble narrating to, to hit those beats, um, record your video, but then record your audio separate so that you can actually um, hit those beats and break it up type of thing. So um, I've only just started doing that with with some of mine and you're about to show XCT Monsters and that <laughs> yep. is um, exactly what, what we did with this one. Yep. 
The one constructive thing I can say with Nat's one, which I think if um, I would recommend he do, is the images were just not quite all the right size. You saw a lot of black bars here and right. The only other comment I'll make if you were presenting images is to crop it so they're all the same size. So when it transitions across, you, you don't get the black lines. A little bit more technical, but it's one of those, and the thing is I know video isn't everybody's forte and it's not mine to be really fair, but Getting the, getting the black lines uniform makes it that, you know, that one step up, if you know what I mean, Sean? Yeah, definitely. Cool. We'll play your one, and then we'll make comments about that one. Hey, everybody. My name is Sean Keenan, and I'm here today to talk to you about XCT Monsters. XCT Monsters is a graphic novel anthology within our award-winning comic series, The Extreme Champion Tournament. Written by five different writers, including Michael Gordon, Stephen Cock, John Ward, and more, and illustrated by Paul Mason, Brad Van Geese, Alexander Malashev, and Alan Sands, just to name a few, and lettered by Stephen Cock. The anthology follows six different characters within the XCT universe as they battle for their freedom from Oscar Keenan, owner of the Extreme Champion Tournament. Facing trials and tribulations, each must decide whether to fight or die in the world's most brutal sport, the XCT. XCT Monsters is a fantasy epic wrapped in a bloody tale of heroes and monsters. If you enjoyed comics like Why the Last Man, 47 Ronin, 300, or movies like Hercules, Spartacus, and Clash of the Titans, stories where heroic deeds are earned not given, then this is definitely the graphic novel for you. This is the very first printing of XCT Monsters and we have some epic rewards for this campaign. It includes an exclusive drawing cover by the very talented Brad Van Geest, an exclusive bearing cover by IDW and Dark Horse artist Megan Hung, and the complete XCT collection at a reduced cost, and loads more. Thanks for supporting the XCT Monsters Kickstarter, and we can't wait to show you more. I won't co comment because I'm a little bit biased. <laughs> uh, the, the only thing that listening back I, I probably would do is at the start I talk really, really quickly. Maybe if I if I if I did that again, I would slow. I, I got better as I went. Like I slowed down and was hitting those beats. For that first part, I was, I guess, I got nervous <laughs> and, I, and I hate doing videos that I, I, talk, I talked really quickly. So, yeah. Oh, look, number one, the video was epic. And um, I'm a little bit biased because I know you, but it was really well done. It actually, I like the little effects. And I think uh, with comic book videos, it actually lends itself not to full animation, if you know what I mean, not like you have someone's head tilting or whatever, but that little fire in the background, the smoke puffs, that one actually I think is better for comic books than it is to get it fully animated, to be really fair. Again, because you're talking about a 2D genre, so you still want it to be very 2D-ish still, but you want that pop. And you want to shout out who created that video? Yeah, Nathan Furigal. So he, oh. he's uh, been doing all of my projects lately and – yeah, you know, it it just sometimes it's all about um, doing that investment for your project, and and I definitely feel like that investment on a real really good video like that can really help your your project. So yeah, oh definitely. And look, and I have to give props uh, again, uh, bias props, but <laughs> the narrating is difficult. I don't do narrating for exactly the same reason you do it. It is getting the timing right, how many times you mess up a word. And like I'm talking to you now, I can talk normally and I don't slur my speeches. I actually get the right words out. As soon as you put a script in front of me and you go, <laughs> you have to say this at this time, I screw it up. <laughs> 100% <laughs> I screw yeah. it up. So look, all props to you. I think that was in terms of video, it was absolutely well done. And let's get to the last one. Um, this one is uh, Lisa Ray.
the the beat to that is is really good. The yeah. the only thing I would say about that is um not uh talking about what the actual project is. It was a bit hard to know what the actual story is is yeah. about. But that if that went for like maybe only twenty seconds, and then it, and then uh, the creator Ooh. jumped in and and talked about oh, and Liz Ray is about blah blah blah. Yeah. That music, oh, I'll sit here going yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, you know, type, type of oh. thing. So, um, but you know, again, another an amazing Australian project yeah. out there uh, at the moment. So. Oh, definitely. Uh, on some technical points, the main thing would be is, and um, to be fair, I actually looked at all these beforehand. It's the, when you enter, you're meant to get the music to ramp up. So it starts softer and builds itself up. And when you exit the video, you always exit as it slows down. Where how this video does is it jumps straight in and it jumps straight out. And sometimes when you're listening, it is a little bit jarring. So, um, it's a 10 second fix to be really fair. You just have to put the transition in, uh, slow, medium, fast, you, know, you can choose whichever, and transition out. Make sure the music transitions out. Um, same thing with Nat, look, he chose exactly the right images. Like the images that pop were absolutely perfect. Like they show, um, but again, make sure it fills up the whole screen and get rid of those black bars. And for example, when there's one part where the lever gets pulled down, if he had made that full screen and have it trans scroll down imagine this you know as the lever pulls down i think that's really cool and but i i agree with you the one point that could have made it uh that next step up is a little bit about the project like lisa ray she's coming back for revenge even if the creator doesn't want to be the guy to say it, they could have made it like a movie trailer she's out for revenge she's out to kill or, or you know one of those lines that gives you that hook but otherwise, the music, the images are perfect. Yep. I think you picked really uh, three great videos there as well um, to, to kind of have a look at because you've got one that's fully narrated, uh, didn't really have much much music or anything like that. Okay. The middle one kind of is what you're, you're aiming for, which is a mixture of uh, images, um, narration, and that, but probably didn't have any of that cool maybe uh, trailer-type graphic at the start. And then the third one is is that full just trailer-style one with music and everything. So really good good points on on all of those. And, um, you know, if you're listening today, I uh, hope you got some really good tips and, and tricks um, out, of, out of this. Uh, have a look on Kickstarter. Those uh, Australian ones are the uh, next to end um, in Australia. And, um, yeah, anything else to, to add before we... We shoot off today, uh, Stephen? No. Nope. And look, if you want to check out the campaigns, the links will be below in the description. So just uh, click to have a look through. And hopefully this will help you when you're making a video, at least get you some ideas and at least gets you some thoughts about, hey, look, if I just make a small couple of small tweaks to really up your video game. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening. And uh, again, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'll be doing more of these quick starter videos uh, coming up and uh, we'll be providing you some tips and tricks and highlighting some projects moving forward. So until next time, thank you very much. Thank you.